You sure it's the right direction? How am I supposed to know? God help us! We're all the way out near Twin Island! Iko Sensei Isai Putsu! Jiko! What's that voice? What is it? Seagulls! Mataichi, where are you? Arthur. <gasps> it may be about time that we part our ways. It's been three whole months since then. I had no idea where Mataichi and the others lived, or even how they lived. It was puzzling. All I knew was that wherever they appeared, strange rumors began to spread. What the? A man who could change into any form, from animal to woman, and woman to child. This heretic descended from the Kabuki theatrical world, Nagamimi the bird caller. Nagamimi? It has to be. Friend of yours? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I came down here to find a good book to read, and who should I find but my rarely seen friend? Whoop. Hmm. Well now, my boy, is this a friend of yours? And so what if he is? I applaud the author great enough to write the 100 stories. And you apparently know people from the next world. Huh? Just you think, if that guy was alive, he'd be over 200 years old. Huh? You're right. What are we gonna do with you? You're way too naive. Uh, please. Hmm? Have you heard anything at all about any strange rumors lately? Strange rumors, you say? Well, there's Seven Man Point in Kitabayashi. And then, of course, there's the Sea Ghosts of Sanuki. Seven Man Point and Sea Ghosts, huh? out here? Huh. Took you long enough. We've been waiting, Arthur. At last we formally meet, young Arthur. Uh, how do you two know who I am? We've heard all about you from our friend Mataichi. And of course from our friends Ogin and Nagamimi. So you mean you people... I must thank you for assisting them all this time. You've been most helpful. Huh? 
I am Kyogo Kute, master of this humble establishment before you. Kyogo Kute? Then you must be the one Mataichi and the others... You'll be a lot happier if you don't finish that sentence. It's better to keep quiet. We've been most fortunate to have a fine man like yourself helping us, Arthur. Yes, very fortunate. Oh no, I, I didn't do much at all. I was just doing what I was told. I disagree. Now don't be so modest. Huh? Since you've joined them, their operations have been going fairly smoothly. Besides that, you've added graceful quality to their work. Wow, you really think so? Except on this mission, they're having some sort of trouble. Oh, they're pretty useless without the author's help. What? Where did Mataichi go? They all went to Shikoku, but then they just vanished. They disappeared. Shikoku? Then that rumor about the sea ghosts in Sunuki must be... I'm very worried about them. So what I heard is true? The sea ghosts have appeared again? It was near Kabuto Island this time. The boat was wrecked, and I heard nobody survived. Now nobody will want to go out to fish. Excuse me. Huh? Uh, did I hear you say the sea ghosts sink a boat? They do it constantly around here. Wow, attacking ships sounds more like something pirates would do. It does sound a bit strange, doesn't it? Don't the sea ghosts usually appear somewhere around Twin Island? Why would they appear near Kabuto Island? Hmm, now that you mention it. What are you all talking about? Well, about a half a day's boat ride from here. There were a pair of islands that all the fishermen call Twin Island. One night, around 20 years ago, one of them suddenly disappeared. It was just completely gone. An entire island vanished in a night? The sea ghost rumors have been around for a long time. What we've noticed since one of the islands vanished is that the sightings of ghosts happen more around Twin Island. Uh huh? It's said that sea ghosts are the souls of people who died in the sea and came back as spirits. When they appear before you, they ask for a ladle. But beware, if you give them the ladle, they'll use it to draw up wave after wave until the boat is sunk. The trouble! Uh, uh, Lord Sekiyama, the boating magistrate, is coming here right now! Uh, 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 Don't trouble yourselves. Raise your heads, please. Everyone listen up. The reports of sea ghost disasters are not what they seem. We found they're the work of the Kawakubo clan. The fact is, the ghost stories were created just to hide the truth. <laughs> These people who threaten the livelihood of our citizens must be stopped at once. I have therefore decided that we will take action to remove this danger to our way of life. I see. So you saw Lord Sekiyama down by the docks? He seems to be a very impressive man. Ooh, and handsome too, I hear. I heard him mention the Kawakubo clan. I've never heard of them before. Do you know what sort of people they are? Uh. No one at the beach would tell me anything about them. Uh, really? Do you know anything about them? Not really. Oh. <laughs> Make yourself comfortable. <sighs> I, I don't know nothing. Not one person in the village would tell me anything about the Kawakubo clan. Hey, you! Yes? We hear you've been asking around the village about the Kawakubo clan. Uh, uh, What's wrong? Cat got your tongue? No matter. Answer me or not, today you shall forfeit your life! <laughs> <laughs> Huh? Is that... Huh? Damn it! Where'd he go? We've got to find him! This way! For heaven's sake, you were in harm's way. I couldn't just stand back and watch. I looked everywhere for you. So big deal. Who asked you to look for me? Why didn't you ask me to help you on this latest setup? I could have been useful somehow. What, you can't figure it out? Get it into your head, Arthur. You became a burden to us. Uh. 
You can't mean that. It's because I failed in the last mission, isn't it? <laughs> well, it wasn't my fault things went wrong. Madaichi didn't fill me in beforehand. No, it's not that. Huh? It's because you don't live in the same world as us. We're different. Then let me join you in your world. No! Uh. That's not possible. There are boundaries that people should never try to cross. I'm sorry, Arthur. You're someone who must never enter my world, not for any reason. Not ever. Uh. Just stay out of this. Go back to Ada. Understand? Uh. Again! Mister, you know that girl you were speaking with? She took a boat out to sea. What? It looked like she was headed straight for Twin Island. Mm. I have a favor to ask. Please, it's very important. I have to know. Why won't anyone tell me anything about the Kawakubo clan? Because they're not real, they're ghosts. They're ghosts? The Kawakubo were defeated members of the Taira clan. Nowadays, neither the Taira nor the Minamoto exist. All people think about are themselves. But the Kawakubo are still around. So you mean that they live in a different world than us? We can see it now! That's Twin Island. Oh. <laughs> They're coming up from everywhere! Stranger, no one who has seen us can ever be allowed to leave here again. Uh, but I... No, stop uh, it. Mataichi? He's seen us. We can't let him live. That's not our way. None may take another person's life. But what happened 20 years ago will be repeated again. Silence! Forgive us, young man. There was another man. He brought me here in his boat. Did you find him anywhere along the beach? I sincerely doubt that he survived these waves. I'm afraid the sea is angry. Chiko Sensai Isai Butsu Shoson Bosatsu Makasatsu. I heard this beach was stained red with blood when the armies of the Taira and the Minamoto met in battle. And then, 20 years ago, dozens of people died in one night when the neighboring island sank. We're sea ghosts, you say? I see. Perhaps it's true, in a way. However, we certainly aren't pirates. I think you should meet with Lord Sekiyama, the Magistrate, to clear your names of all these false accusations. I'm afraid we can't do that. But why? Because I can't go anywhere off this island. <clears throat> You're the second person who's washed ashore on this island of ours. There was one other castaway here 20 years ago. And it was because of him that we were- I'm afraid you're wrong, my friend. Huh? It wasn't the man who was the real cause of your problems. It was all the fault of that. What is it? It was entrusted to us by our ancestors to be of use when the signal of the Tyra uprising was given. It's to protect us. It's a flame lance. A flame lance? If someone knew how to use it to its full potential, it could topple the heavens themselves. You're right. It would be best then to simply destroy it. We simply cannot. It's a source of catastrophe, a thing which calls out to the darkness in men's hearts. I realize it must never be unleashed upon the world. But we cannot destroy it. Hurry now, 
take this path to the other side of the island. Just use the boat there to go back home. I'm not leaving here. Arthur, really, it's best you stay out of this. Tell me, what are you planning to do? It's Toromaru, isn't it? Admit it! You're planning to exorcise him! And he hasn't done anything, has he? And that is his sin. The fact he inherited the Flame Lance can't be helped. His failure to destroy it is his sin. Does Kyogo Kute know about all this, does he? Huh? How do you know about Kyogo Kute? I met him in Edo. He's your boss, isn't he? No, he's not. The fact is, I once thought that he was. But then he started thinking all sorts of terrible things that I could not accept. Huh? Rather than calm the growing darkness inhabiting men's hearts, he decided to draw that darkness out. And for that purpose, the Flame Lance is most suitable. Look! Hyogo! Huh? The one who was cast away here more than 20 years ago was that man. Master Toromaru, forgive my not contacting you. Why have you returned here? The Magistrate's office is here to search the Kawakubo clan for signs of criminal behavior. Ridiculous. You're here for the Flame Lance, aren't you? I know you are. Well, that simplifies things. Will you please hand over the plans to me now? I refuse. We can simply kill you all and take the cannon for ourselves, you know. Without the plans, it's a waste of time. You won't know how to use it. If we take a cannon shell back with us, we can figure out how it works. Hand it over and I'll declare the Kawakubo clan innocent of any wrongdoing and let you go free. That man! I get it. He's been impersonating the sea ghost to commit piracy. A perfect cover. With those words, you have sealed your doom. <laughs> I know one of you is doomed. I wonder who. Who might you be? I think you remember that they have a fire lance here. <laughs> I also think you know very well how powerful it could be in certain hands. Over and over I've dreamt of that weapon. Of when I could get it, how I could get it. It was more than I could stand. So you became obsessed with it. And you have no intention of attacking this domain's lord? I find that statement amusing as well. You'll never leave this island alive. Give us just a little time. I'll give you until dawn. Use the time well to decide your fate. So what do you intend to do? We'll exorcise this place of the evil monster you call the Fire Lance. Boss, there has to be a way. Can't we just... I don't want you to waste your lives. Then why don't you leave with us, boss? I cannot. I must try to end this madness once and for all. But how? You really can't just destroy it? It's me. I am the Fire Lance. And if I wasn't here, the spirits of those at rest in the sea would miss me very dearly. No one should waste his life. No one. I should have done this long ago. This great burden was passed to me as a boy. Stop it! Stop it, please! Don't do this! Stop it! Toromaru, be sure. No. You will be the next leader! No. I don't want to be, I tell you! I don't want this! Stop! Father, you are a coward in my eyes. We will abandon the Kawakubo clan. Just stop protecting that thing and let this sick torture end with your generation. Until then, all the youth will live on that island. If I had tried with all my might to stop him that time, he never would have had to die. Have they run away? Wait for me. I'm coming to you now. Hmm.
Master Taromaru! Master Taromaru! Goodbye, Master! To the next world, we commit thee. You dare to call this an exorcism? Now what are you yelling about, Arthur? Sure you can keep blaming evil spirits, but I can see the truth about your deeds. In reality, you're just murderers! Murderers! You're one to talk. Haven't you made judgments of your own? Haven't you done things just as bad as we have? <laughs> Exactly the same. Monsters whose hearts carried a darkness deep within. No, they were all just regular people. Then by your own words, you're practically saying that you're a serial murderer. Hmm, <laughs> Mata, that boat there. <laughs> Those old hags. So where do you think they're going to take it? There's only one place I can think of. The thief of Kitabayashi. Wind turns, whisper soft and sweet. Though there's not a cream of a breeze. Dancing on the garden wall as a gently drift through the trees. From Main Street, right on this perfect night, while all of the world lay sleeping, find us here. As we feel the moment of love Draw near Dream sleep With your hand in mine Underneath a blanket of stars Some birds singing in a distance as we share the warmth of the dawn. Evil and ambition scatter in the darkness, leaving behind dubious rumors to fly in public. One man who haunts seven others to death. Each of those seven haunts another seven to death. Kitabayashi, where a curse runs deep, the chain of curses resembles the pictures of atrocity. Next time on Natsuhiko Kyogoku's Requiem from the Darkness, The Death Spirits of Seven Man Point, Part 1. To the next world, we commit thee.